We all, we all immediately <laughs> jumped. Dewey's in the wrong channel. No. What? Oh, are we supposed what? to be in general? Uh, every, everyone's splitting. Where are we going? Oh. <laughs> split up, split Sorry. up. No. Split. Sorry, Dewey <laughs> Quick was scatter. Right. This is so stupid. <laughs> I think I oh, found what Dewey's contribution to the video will be. Let's try to Sorry. try to blast through this. Okay. No, come back. No. <laughs> All right. He's back. Uh, speed pitch. So I AI generated an Ace Attorney case, and now I'm going to get all of us to read through it. So the roles. Oh, Anthony, you are going to be Phoenix Wright. Charlie, you are going to be yourself as the defendant. Funky, you are the judge. Nye, you are the prosecutor, Edgeworth. Senpex, oh God. <laughs> you are going to be Detective Ernie Ferns, and then I'm going I'm to Edward? narrate. No Bro's name is Ernie. Did everybody which, get their which, roles? Which chat is this in? Uh, I'm going to send you guys the script. Oh. Uh, do I'm not read ahead. Wait, there's a soundboard? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's just covered it now, too. Okay, everybody have the script. Oh, God. God damn it. <laughs> This isn't good, man. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> me, me, every time this, I speak. Every time I speak. This is me slapping. <laughs> <laughs> really fast. Set his balls. Uh. Phoenix Wright is in court for his first trial. Across the aisle is Miles Edgeworth, an undefeated prosecutor. The defendant is a young musician named Charlie, on trial for the murder of a sentient raccoon named Derek. The judge takes his seat and, be and trial begins as Edgeworth gives his opening argument. I ask you to please imagine- <laughs> I ask you to place yourselves in Charlie's shoes to imagine the horror of seeing the raccoon die in front of you. Charlie reacts with a natural human emotion. This is the only defense. The prosecutor will claim that the defendant murdered a sentient being. There is no evidence that the raccoon was sentient. The raccoon was a sentient being. Let's take a recess. A man comes forward. The mysterious figure takes off their hoodie and reveals a raccoon in a suit. They process to sing to an appreciative audience. They finish, they exit. I'd like to begin the trial now. It's time for Charlie to take the stand. Well, yes, I killed that raccoon. Why did you kill the raccoon? Well, I don't know. I was angry. It was just that. What did the raccoon do to you? Well, leave me alone. Charlie goes back to his seat. The state will prove that on the might of the murder, the defendant was in the possession of a gun. Proceed. Detective Ernie Ferns will take the stand. That's you, Senpex. Ernie, right? Yeah, you're Ernie. I just wanted to start off by saying that I feel like it's a real honor to be a witness in this courtroom. Uh, you, you know who I am, Ernie. You, you know. You have to tell the truth, don't you? Uh, yes, sir. I, I'm just nervous. Detective Ernie, what exactly did the defendant tell you that night? Well, um, he told me that he and Miss White were having some problems with each other, and he showed me a gun that he had just got from Mr. White. Uh, objection, Your Honor. The question calls for a conclusion from the witness. Your Honor, the state has a photograph of the defendant holding a gun. Ernie, <laughs> Ernie shows the photo to the court and you can see that is it, it is indeed a photo of Charlie holding a gun. I will allow <laughs> this evidence. Ernie has left the courtroom. Phoenix is panicking. Uh, I have to do something. There's no evidence. There's no gun. There's no murder. There's no case. There's no judge. There's no courtroom. Everything is gone. What the fuck just happened? Um, what's wrong, Phoenix? I don't know. I'm going crazy. I need to get out of here. Phoenix runs out of the courtroom and into the hallway. Ernie comes back into the courtroom. And that's how you testify. Detective Ernie Ferns. The end. Edgeworth <laughs> asks Charlie to take the stand to testify about his perspective. I'm ready. Wake up in a strange house. Raccoon is sitting on your chest. God, I wish that would happen to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The 
raccoon has you completely immobilized. Edgeworth is confused. He's never seen a sentient raccoon before. This raccoon is immobilized? <laughs> Sit down and be quiet, Edgeworth. Back at the raccoon, and it looks back at you, lustfully. It asks you if you want to die. <laughs> You're trapped. <laughs> I don't want to fucking die. <laughs> the raccoon says, I want to die. You look around and see a gun on the floor. You reach for it and it's gone. Suddenly, what? Phoenix bursts into the courtroom, ready to defend Charlie. I saw it with my own eyes, Judge. He showed me his gun and then he said he got it from Derek. Calm down, Phoenix. Calm down. What did you see, Phoenix? I saw him pick up a gun. I saw him take it from the floor and then he shot and killed Derek. <laughs> I need to see a raccoon in this courtroom. There is a raccoon in this courtroom. I want to see it. <laughs> Edward pulls a raccoon out of his pocket and puts it in the courtroom. The judge is delighted. <laughs> Edward is confused. He's never seen a raccoon before. <laughs> and this is a raccoon? <laughs> no, it's a fool. Let's see the evidence, Edward. Here, judge, the evidence. Take that. Phoenix reveals the piece of evidence that will win him the case and prove Charlie's innocence. A piece of hair. The hair is identical to the hair of the victim. Oh, Sax is here! Sax! <laughs> this, is, this is a senile old man who's just walking. <laughs> He's ended up in the courtroom somehow. Uh, so every now and then just be an old man. I will be old. Where, where were we? Okay, proceed, Phoenix. Your Honor, this is admissible. There is no way to test the hair. All the rules. Proceed, Phoenix. Tell the court what happened, Phoenix. Phoenix stops and takes a deep breath. I wake up in a strange house. A raccoon is sitting on my chest. I try to move, but I can't. The raccoon is completely immobilized. Be quiet, I think I'm Can somebody help me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. Sit down, old man! <laughs> can, can I take you anywhere? <laughs> we apparently have a courtroom drummer now, too. <laughs> Get that DJ the fuck out of here. <laughs> Wait, where even are we I, Where are we in the script? I, Judge, I, finish. Finish. I think we're on Charlie. Oh, we're I on think I finish. forgot okay. to take my pills this morning. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Somebody Let get this old finish. man his meds. <laughs> I want to die! Your Honor, the defendant is a very busy man. Please allow the witness to finish this story. The raccoon asks me if I want to die. My the grandson had a raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> Security, can we please get this old man out of here? I have right. The judges are in both arguments. It's time to come to a decision. You may begin your deliberations. The jury finds you guilty of first degree murder. Ernie and Charlie celebrate. <laughs> we also call animal control. There is a duck running around in the court. There's a raccoon in here. What do you well, mean? somebody, please get this fucking I think duck it out follows of me inside. The, the old man is just feeding the duck with a loaf of crusty I have bread. In my pockets. <laughs> Ernie and Charlie celebrate. <laughs> the trial ends. Ernie and Charlie hug each other. Phoenix and Edgeworth are now alone in the courtroom. I don't want you to go. I want you to come with me, Jack. America is diseased. Move into the floor. <laughs> Did you men know that you shouldn't feed birds bread? No. Be quiet before we take your walking stick away. Feed them seed because bread. Because we're going to jail. Diet. Also, okay. they can get fat and die. Because it expands in their stomach. Okay, Ezreal takes off his very weak disguise, reveals he's actually Senator Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> quick, machine, quick new role Metal play. Machine, son. Response <laughs> 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 that feels like a trauma. <laughs> role play. <laughs> Edgeworth like was Senator actually Armstrong role play. Senator like Armstrong the whole time. <laughs> you know, I thought we'd have a perfectly reasonable courtroom scene, but no, no, I should have no. fucking do this. Should have done better. <laughs> post credit scene. We did it though, we read through the script. Woo. Yeah, yeah, that went really well, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's funny, too, when you look back, halfway through, I realized I wanted to do Senator Armstrong's voice, so I got more and more like Senator Armstrong as a voice. <laughs> you know, Dutch, we gotta get that victory royale. We gotta go with the movie <laughs> with our free books. Arthur, I can't play Fortnite. I've been deployed to Iraq, Arthur. I'm gonna fucking die. Mad what? Dutch, you gotta do the victory royale default Arthur. man's on him. Arthur, you don't understand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die overseas in a war I don't believe in, Arthur. 
But I got Dude, more mango, for all no your water. Water. no more Dutch. <laughs> what? This is really hurting my, Arthur. my throat. <laughs> Arthur, the only <laughs> thing that matters to me is you, Arthur. We gotta, nah, we gotta run away, Arthur. I gotta, I gotta dodge this draft, Arthur. Dutch, we gotta go to Minecraft, Dutch. <laughs> Dutch go to Arthur, Arthur, Arthur we can't hide in Minecraft. Minecraft yeah. is a video game, Arthur. No, we gotta go to the house of wood, and we gotta go get diamonds. <laughs> Find Arthur, fucking well, Arthur, I don't know what it's called. Arthur, you're what? fucking crazy. I'm, I'm fucking. At, I'd rather, I'd rather go fight overseas than live with no, you, Arthur. No, no, I'm just based. Uh, <laughs> Arthur, I'm going to Minecraft. Arthur, what, the, Arthur what the fuck are you talking about? No, I'm gonna go play Minecraft. <laughs> we Arthur, have it's 1842, leaders. Arthur. Nah, Minecraft Dutch. ain't real, Arthur. Yeah. What? Why am I put it now, shit lips? Ar Counterpoint for you, Arthur. Mm -hmm. Gordon Freeban. <laughs> <laughs> Gordon Freeban. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Freeman <laughs> in the flesh. Dutch, I took too much Benadryl, Dutch. As, I'm, as see, I, I'm smelling <laughs> colors, <laughs> Dutch. <laughs> I took too many Benadryl. I can Arthur, see every the snakes, place, Arthur, Dutch. I feel the spiders in my skin, Arthur. There are snakes in my eyes. <laughs> that mother, that motherfucking hat man's trying to take my money, Arthur. <laughs> Dutch, the hat <laughs> man calls to me. <laughs> I can't take no more Benadryls. I can't pay back the hat man, Arthur. <laughs> All right, Dutch, here's what I want you to do. I want you to build a pentagram in the middle of your house right now. Arthur. And I want you to stop using the trombone right now so you'll know him. And then you Dutch, you the... Dutch, are you did hearing you this Arthur, duck too? Arthur, did or is that the Benadryl? The... Dutch, what, I want, I, I, would you I still love me if I was a worm? I what? Arthur, if you were a worm, I'd put you in the finest soil I could find. Dutch, if I was a worm, would you still love me? Arthur, if you were a worm, I'd fucking eat ya. We got no food. What the fuck? We should. Alexa, pull up a funny car crash video on YouTube. Arthur, these people are- These people are dying, Arthur. These people are really getting hurt. Dutch, I don't think these people know how to drive. Dutch, they hit the Pentagon. <laughs> I think this may be our most schizophrenic. I think this is the worst video I've ever recorded. Yep, this is the worst video we've ever recorded together. Size meatball. Black boil rope bombs. You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough room. And all of the land of Cordoba. Okay, Luigi. Everybody, okay, take Luigi. out your notes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I have that. You know what else we should check on regularly, Luigi? Yeah, prostate. <laughs> prostate. <laughs> Thing you sent, I think. Fat rat. Roaches in the. Hey, bye, guys. Wait, bye. what the fuck is this? Oh, <laughs> there goes Shen. Did send pictures to an outro for himself? Mother. Yo, this could be outro. Something said an outro. All right, that's fucking awesome. Okay, everybody here gets to say one last thing for the video. Let's start with Funky. What do you want your last words of the recording to be? Can I go last? Chocolate ice cream. Okay, Sax, you can go last, but Funky, you go ahead. Yes. Yeah, ch chocolate chocolate chip ice cream from Ben and Jerry's. Okay, Krugs. Damn, that's a good one. I hate you so much. <laughs> so little words yet, so much meaning. So much was said. <laughs> so much, so much was said. Sex, what are your final words for the recording? Step one, crush fertilizer pellets. I hate you so pellets. much. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. Okay, bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs>